More summer science learning for kids. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us is National Geographic Kids Associate Editor, Christina Sauer. Hi, Christina. Hi, Fred. Good morning. Good morning. And what we're talking about this time out is a new title, Why the Human Body. As any parent knows, kids are full of why, why, why. And in this book, Lots of answers when it comes to the body and how it works. Give us the overview. Yeah, so this is kind of our companion to our best-selling why, over 1,111 answers to pretty much everything you want to know. And from that book, we we broke it down into chapters of animals, human body, and other subjects. And we thought kids absolutely love learning about the human body, and they're always asking questions about it. So why don't we do a shorter smaller, more compact subject matter book. And that's where why came out of. So there's over 99 questions and answers to pretty much anything a kid's going to ask you and as an adult stump you on that you might need a resource to. Um, so we talk about everything from the your genes to anatomy to the future of, of our bodies and, and human technology related to it. Um, we also talk about some fun facts from animals to um what's happening, especially in the future. We also have some really cool interviews with explorers and scientists from a neuroscientist to a human biologist. And kids can be pretty straightforward when it comes to questions about anything. But uh, I mean, some of the things that you cover in here, like, why don't I have fur? Why don't I have a tail? Things like that. And parents, as you said, might be scratching their heads. Oh, and that's what we did. We, We unabashedly said, we're going to ask some of the hard questions that we know you're going to get or that a kid's asking themselves. Um, everything from, honestly, why does my pee change colors to, you know, why is my blood red or why do I have eyebrows? And like you said, hair. I ask that all the time. Why do we have hair only on our heads and, and other parts of our bodies? Mostly our heads. We still don't even fully know, but we think it's because it protects us from the sun or it might have kept us cool or warm at night when it got cool. There's some tough ones, too, like, uh, will humans be able to live forever when oh. kids ponder stuff like that, don't they? Oh, they really do. And one of the great things at Nat Geo Kids is we talk about thing, really complex subjects in a really simplified, easy way, but we never shy away from the really hard words. So the kids who will read that section, it actually talks about, we don't know if we'll be able to live forever. We don't even know why we we honestly have an expiration date sometimes, but we talk about the telomeres and potentially that that might be something on in the future that we realize that they keep shrinking and that's related to age and talking about these subjects with kids. So maybe they don't fully grasp it in that moment, but then when they go to school later on in life and go, oh my gosh, I've already had an introduction to this. I knew that answer. What's the age range this is intended for? I mean, it, I think it can be tough to pin down because there's a lot of it that can be great for younger kids. And a lot of it is aimed at, I guess, middle schoolers, right? Yeah. So I would say it's about, I would say eight to 12. Honestly, I say eight to 99 because I'm still learning new things every time I pick up this book. Um, but it's, it is targeted to kids just based on vocabulary. Um, but if you're a parent and want to read it to your six-year-old, it, you totally can. There's, there's plenty in there that the kids can grasp. Oh, and for sure. Looking at the future, you mentioned that you try to get into that, which is uh, uh, can be difficult. Some of the questions, can I upload my brain or will I be able to teleport? Oh, absolutely. And we even talk about, you know, a lot of kids ask us based on some popular movies, can we make dinosaurs in the future? And we understand that a lot of these questions, we don't have answers to. But because they've posed those questions and other scientists have posed those questions, someone's out there doing research on it. So we kind of give them a little insight into what's happening in the world when it comes to those questions like, can I upload my brain? We don't think so yet, but maybe. Take us a little bit into the inside process and in creating these books uh, and, and trying to sift through what to include and what not to include. Oh, for that, I have to say, I have to give our author, Paige Towler, so much credit. She is a brilliant mind, and she's always coming up with new ideas, doing so much research. So at Nat Geo, we have a huge team surrounding us for every book. You know, you would think it's like an author and an editor. 
really there's so many people whose hands are at work. There's a designer, there's a photo editor, that we actually get experts from the field and fact checkers who reach out. All You'll see those sections where it's like the neuroscientists. Not only did we have Paige interview him and write about what he said, but he also fact checked all the facts on there saying, okay, this is right, this isn't, this is better suited for how we should tell kids about this really complex subject. Um, so we basically go through stages. We start with that research. Paige sends me a ton of facts and information, and then we distill it down to what we want. And we knew we wanted to break it down into the sections. We have anatomy, senses, genes, the brain, things that are gross in the future. And everything is sourced here. I mean, kids can get in and really take a deeper dive if they start going through this and going back to some of the sources that you list. Absolutely. So there are some more like open-ended, you know, it'll say something like an octopus has blue blood and you'll go, well, I want to know more about that octopus. And we, we kind of leave that open to the child to say, you know what, I've learned this fact. Now I want to go deeper. And they could look at the back and say, oh, let me go check out this. Well, congratulations on the work that you and the team are doing there. The title again is Why the Human Body from Nat Geo Kids. Christina Sauer, thanks for spending time with us. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to be here.